Hey Ruben here, what's up? Now, after many many months of frustration trying to recall the tutorial my door on Windows, I finally found a solution to doing that. Now, that's not without the help of some awesome people on YouTube. I'm going to link them down in the description below so you can check them out. Anyway, let's get to it. So, basically, when you're recording, when you're doing editing and programming on a door on Windows, basically, you'll be using ACO as your device, right? And... Uh, the problem with most ca most screencasting softwares like Camtasia, actually all of them on Windows, is that they do not accept ACL sound signal. All right, so now let's. <laughs> you can see in this picture here. I can't show you the real thing because if I do, then you won't be able to hear me. So you can see in this picture here. This is Camtasia. I'm actually using Camtasia to do my screencasting, and you can see that I have two sound sources. So the first one comes directly from the Complete Audio Six audio interface, which I'm using as my device right now. Um, this is the microphone level that you're actually hearing me uh, speaking right now. So that's the first sound, so sound source. And the second sound source is the system audio. Now the problem here again is screencasting softwares on Windows do not accept ACO sound. It only accepts Windows audio. So how do you actually you know, root ACO into Windows audio to be able to record system audio, right? So I found a solution. So basically, we use a uh, voice meter. Now, before I get into going and setting up this, um, well, I've tried a few softwares back in the day. So <laughs> I went to Jack Audio Connection Kit. Well, call me stupid, but this is pretty much very you know difficult to set up and I don't like it at all. Anyway, use this software, VB Audio, and it's called Voice Me Eater Virtual Audio Mixer. And it <laughs> pretty much, it's very beautiful in fact, and it's you know very, very uh, easy to use. And it's nice, it's beautiful, right? And it's free, best of all, okay? Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it here. So basically, back in your DAW, you want to have the voice meters uh, interface on. You have to have this on to be able to record. And you can see in my first hardware input here, I have the complete audio 6 actually root inside here. But I'm not actually using this one here. You can actually use this, but I'm not using it, right? So now the virtual inputs here is where the sound from my door comes in. The DAW comes in, all right. And the important part is here now in A1 and A2, you want to have your main complete audio six, so main interface, so you can actually monitor your main interface from your audio interface directly, all right. So this one has to be a must, so that's where you actually monitor your uh, music, all right. And now the second place to monitor music is in A2, where I have the MME speakers uh, on, on Windows selected. So this one here is a Windows audio. It's Windows Audio, right? So I have the sound coming out from my DAW into virtual input here, the WB VB or the voice meter VAIO uh, coming to here, and it roots out back into my interface, all right, my audio interface, and it also roots out back into the Windows Audio here. So what happens now is when you turn on your recording software like uh, Camtasia, you'll be able to see system audio here, all right, because um, well, you have sound routed back into Windows Audio from your ACL device, all right? So a few more things to note. Now, in your DAW, in your door, what you're gonna do is you go into devices, go into device setup, and you wanna make sure that you have voice meter virtual ACL setup as your audio system here. Now, I always use the complete audio six as my main driver, but when it comes to screencasting, you wanna change that to voice meter virtual ACL, all right? And then in your mixer, where you have your outputs of your, you know, uh, sound, you want to have your stereo outs from your DAW going into the WM1 and WM2, VM sorry, so VM1 and VM2. So that means when it comes to here, voice meter here, it goes into virtual input here and if I play something on my DAW, you can actually see it jumping up and down, so it's working. Alright, so it's actually working. So you can see when I play the DAW, when I play my music software here, it outputs back into the virtual input here. And from the virtual input, we actually root it back into complete audio 6, audio 6, which is my audio interface, and another source, which is the Windows Audio MME speakers, right? Now, another trick here is to then turn off your speakers. If you look at my bottom right, I actually mute my uh, speaker source. But if I actually play my DAW, you can actually see it's still moving. So it's still...
right? It, it, it's not moving there. But um, if you actually look at Camtas Camtasia, it's actually moving up in the system module. So you know that you're actually recording the system module from uh, virtual inputs coming up to here. So that's how we actually record on um, on Windows. And this works for any other softwares like Studio One, um, Ableton Live, FL Studio, or whatever whatever music software you have on Windows. So it should work. Yeah. So this is more like a virtual mixer that works pretty well on Windows, and I think you should use it. So. Good luck with it. If you have questions, just go ahead and ask. Um, I'll have links to all the you know um, softwares that you can download on the description box below. And hey, visit audiomental.com to ask me any question that you need to know about. Thanks.